Hi there, I'm your host, Tony Visco. We're here today in a show we call The Artist's World, and I'm here with Brenda Cobb from uh, the Plymouth, I still want to call it the Plymouth Guild, but it is no longer the Plymouth Guild. It is the Plymouth Center, Center for, for the Arts. Arts. I guess that, that the old guild is gone by the board. Uh, well, the guild is actually the entity that runs the Plymouth Center for the Arts. The guild is running the Center for the Arts. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the Center for the Arts encompasses much more than just visual arts? Yes, absolutely. We have plays and theater productions and musical. Oh, wow, venues. it's really expanded. Yes. yes. Not like the old days, is mm -hmm. it? Huh? That's, that's cool. Well, today, Brenda, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what your, your position is down there. What I really like to do is to discuss what it takes to hang a show. A lot of people don't realize what goes into hanging a show so that it's presented well to the, the audience that comes in and, and, and views mm -hmm. it. So uh, with that in mind, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about that. Now, you've been doing it for quite a while, I understand. Is quite a number of years, yes. Yeah, good. Um, typically, as I, as I remember, reaching back a little bit, that if you go into a museum, generally speaking, uh, all the paintings are, are usually either hung, let's say, at eye level, whatever eye level is. I mean, if you're my height, eye level is probably <laughs> down here. And if you're really tall, then eye level is going to be up here. But there has to be a, a sort of a norm for, for what would be considered normal eye level for people that are five six to six two whatever. yes yes so. um i i never measure i put it a little above my eye level because i'm only <laughs> maybe yeah. five one right so, okay so eye level for me is kind of low um we do have very specific uh um odd shape areas in that building because half of the building was a residence and the other half, of course, was the library. Was a residence? Uh, yes. I didn't realize yes, that. Yes, the Lindens building. Oh, that was of a course. residence. I didn't and that, yeah. so it has some odd shapes. And if we have a lot of art, then we have to kind of, you know, stack some of it. Um, so some of it's probably a little below eye level and some of it's above eye level, but we try to. Okay, so salon style, I mean, if yes. I remember, salon style would be basically, you, you know, mm -hmm. covering up and mm -hmm. down in an area as mm -hmm. opposed to just museum style, which would be, say, right. depending on the same right. level. If we, have, if we have a small show, that's really nice to do the museum style. Yeah, yeah and everything would be nice. Everything on an eye level. Well, what does it take really to hang the show? Because I know that some, I mean, you guys down there can get anywhere from uh, 25 pieces to a couple of hundred pieces, mm -hmm. depending on the show. And at some point after the jurying process, and we're at, we're talking about after the jurying process now, mm -hmm. once everybody, those of us or those people that got uh, juried into this particular show, at some point you have to sort of say, okay, we better start hanging. What is, what's the process that you take? The first thing that we do is sort of spread everything out and get a feel for what's there. Okay. Um, the fall show, of course, we have winners, so we want to spread those throughout the building. Okay. Um, so normally we don't have that, the regular shows that we do. Um, the regular shows don't have any, um, any, any awards or medals? They, or? they do a, a small award, but, but that's, the judges come in, jurors come in after it's okay. already hung. So, so I can take a look at it, sure. So anyway, for the, for the big fall show, they do try to put the winners in better spots. Okay. Because some of the spots are a little hard, hard to hang. Well, uh, if, if somebody's walk, do, do you think in terms of an impact piece? For instance, if I'm walking in the door, yes, the, is the idea sort of like to, to hit somebody Ab with a wow? Look absolutely. At that, so for instance, this just this past week, I hung um, myself and five wonderful volunteers. I must add, um, we hung this the late. No, early summer show. Uh -huh. And I was there for registration, and this watercolor came in, and it's a little girl eating a big, juicy piece of watermelon. Oh, cool. And it's just the quintessential summer picture, you know. So I said, that's going to be my jumping off point in the lobby when you walk in. That's what you're right. going to see. Because even though it's not a theme show, it's summer, and we want to kind of promote that, that feeling. So, mm -hmm. so from there, then kind of choose pieces that can play off of that. Okay, so you mentioned theme. Let's talk a little bit about theme because a lot of the shows could have a theme to it, in which case an artist has to conform to that theme in order to 
to show it. They, it, they have done that in the past, um, and they don't insist that people use the theme, but what the gallery committee will do is have the jurors um, that award the little first and second prize that they mm -hmm. do at each one of these um, only judge the ones that kind of were in that theme. In that theme, yeah. okay, that makes that would make good sense. So, mm -hmm. in a summer show, and if I can use summer as a theme, and I know you you, you just talked about hanging the summer show. If I brought in a winter scene, it wouldn't be appropriate for that that show. If it was legitimately a theme. If it was legitimately a theme, yeah, that. But, but that's kind of the case. You'd have say. to stretch that somehow. Like yeah. I was dreaming of winter in the summer. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that, I guess that would be a stretch. Yeah. That's true. Yes, I, I really like that. I liked it when we were we were snowed in and we couldn't we right, couldn't get out right. of our home for five days. Right. When we had no power. Sure. That's of right. course. Um, all right. So so essentially then. As I walk into the uh, the door and I see this magnificent piece that is theoretically the quintessential piece for us to take a look at, it's motivating us to go in and go through the whole show. So mm -hmm. now you've got, for the sake of argument, we're going to have four walls. Now I, do, I, I realize that we have more than four <laughs> walls within, within the art center, but I would suspect that each each wall would become an art piece. So essentially, I would think that every wall that somebody was looking at was designed as a piece of art would be designed Absolutely. with balance and so Absolutely. forth. Absolutely, yes. Um, some some of the areas are sort of separated from other areas by doors or windows, mm -hmm. and so those kind of become a singular uh, grouping. Um, and you're choosing color and balance and scale and um, I also like to, if I can, mix up the mediums, have f photographs and paintings and printmaking Sculpting, all together. Sculpture work. I mean, I've, right. not, I've seen some beautiful things down mm -hmm. there that have, that have come in that are three-dimensional pieces that are sort of are nice. They sit there and they act, they're ni they form a nice accent between, mm -hmm. between and it gives yes. us all a, yes. a, a, a sense of, uh, uh, I guess, a, a cohesive, mm -hmm. uh, a, a total design element that, that mm -hmm. works works very well. But keeping that in mind, if I if I take a look at it, uh, I would think that you'd have to be very careful about um, collectively putting, let's say, all landscapes on one piece on one wall or so, something like that. So just so that I can yes. get a feel for it. Yes. Who makes the decisions to do what? How do you actually arrive or get to that? that point well, where you say, this is going to go on that <laughs> wall. So t tell me, bring me through the process. I, I try to first um, um, find those few pieces that really sort of grab you. Mm -hmm. And uh, like the, the girl with the watermelon. And there are a few walls that, you know, the, when you first walk in the front door, when you first walk into the Russell Gallery, there's a big wall right ahead mm -hmm. of you. Um, so find something to as a jumping off point right. and then start working around that and it's a it's a, usually a full day process because even once you start putting some things together that you think are going to work occasionally you went, you put them up and you go wow that's incredibly boring it's not yeah. none of them is is playing off the other so you've got to switch some things out and tweak some things mm -hmm. and that that can happen if i can remember having some just each piece was really gorgeous, but when you put them all together, it was too much of the same color or too much of the yeah. same theme, yeah, and and so nothing was really standing out. And and you know you really want the pieces to enhance each other. Um, Sounds good. Do you do you typically when you when you hang a show? Do you typically uh, let's say take uh, the group of paintings that you have and just sort of lay them on the floor next to the walls that you think you may want them? Yeah, to? it's, a, it's a lot of running around um, in the beginning, and you feel like a chicken with your head cut off because there's so much art, and you're going, oh my god, how am I going to ever get this all on the walls? And then. So I, I, I get the volunteers and we, I'll say, okay, I like this piece for over here. Find five pieces that you think will work well with this. And, I, and that's another thing that I really want to stress is that the Plymouth Center for the Arts is all volunteers. And when people come in to volunteer, I want them to know that I value their coming in, showing up, helping out. And I want them to know that I, I appreciate them wanting to learn how to do this, and so I give them a lot of leeway, and I, I don't just tell them where to put everything. 
I want them to make a few decisions too. Good to know. So Good they can know. feel like they own it. They own that place. They're part of the process. That's wonderful to hear. So, so I, I really try to not be hands off, but not be too hands on either. Sure, I understand. You know? and, and you can kind of get a feel for whether somebody's kind of getting the hang of it or not. And so, yeah. you know, in the end, uh, I might go around later in the day and move a couple of things, but for the most part, you know, as we're working, I can kind of guide them and help them. Well, that's good to know because it's good to know that a volunteer is valuable mm -hmm. and has has an asset when they we come in. We wouldn't be there without them. So yeah. You know, so you got pr predominantly most of the people that come in are volunteers. The people yes. that sit at, sit at the desks and everybody is that's volunteer. A, that's yeah. a that's a uh, what? so it's a tremendous so that, amount of hours there that people put in. Well, I guess I, I would I would think that they, you would have to be, and I would also think that you'd probably value, you know, if, you, if you're allowing the volunteers to sort of use their judgment to bring pieces to an area that, uh, you know, four or five or six pieces would work well together, mm -hmm. that, that the process alone, their cont contribution to the process alone, mm -hmm. uh, has to give them as a volunteer a, a, just a, a good feeling. Sure. I, Be well, I hope so. I know, mean, I, I certainly want them to come back. It's a big job, and I don't want to have to do it myself. Well, so. I, I personally know of a volunteer <laughs> recently, I, somebody that d just said that they, I, I had talked with the person, and they said, it, it's, it, I'm new to this, but I'll tell you, it's, it's wonderful. The people are great. And that's something that I'm delighted to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the people that they've worked with are, are, uh, uh, are competent, and they feel very comfortable with them, and they, they just had nothing but great things to say. So if you mm -hmm. are a volunteer out there, uh, or you want to volunteer to, uh, to help Brenda or some of the other, other uh, uh, the people that are, that are working, as an example, just to, you know, doing uh, a couple of hours on the desk or whatever else has to be done, you know, call the center and, and they'd be happy to talk with you about that. Mm -hmm. um, but let's get back a little bit to, uh, to the show hanging. So the process, as I understand it, is, is to bring all of these pieces in. Typically on a summer show, how many pieces do you get? We probably had 200 pieces in the 200. last. 200. Yeah, it was. Now, it can was you accommodate 200 big. pieces? Mm -hmm. And you try mm -hmm. your best. If, if in this particular show you have, if I remember correctly, you have both the members. That, I think there's members part or members yes. section in a in a Russell Gallery section. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Mm -hmm. Can you explain the difference? The Russell Gallery. Um, <laughs> I never know how to say this and be politically correct with how to do this. More um, experienced artists, okay, and there's a jurying process. So the artists themselves um, bring in a series of of pieces for a panel of jurors to look at and evaluate where they're at in their process. Um, it, which also includes presentation, framing, and all the, the whole nine mm -hmm. yards. Um, so th once you're accepted into that, through that process, then then your pieces can hang in the in Russell the Russell Gallery, Gallery which mm -hmm. is just a little bit higher. Just Are you a saying a little, little higher than the members? Right. The members show if you join, you can participate as a yes. member. Yes, yes, and we have we have a lot of. I mean, there are a lot of artists that just don't even they could care less whether they go through that process or not. They're right. perfectly they're happy. happy to. I mean, people come in and they go through the whole building. It's not like they're not going to see your artwork. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. So. And uh, and we have some wonderful students and teachers and. That, that hang over in in the other section, and I mean, it works. It's all good. It works. It's all good. good. Well, it's art. Yeah. Art works no matter what. I mean, whether it's music or, or, mm -hmm. or theater or, I mean, it, for me, art has always worked. I've mm -hmm. been around the business for a long time. I work commercially in the business, yeah. and it's fun uh, for me to use my creative capabilities mm -hmm. uh, to be able to work professionally at it. But it's also for me a kick just to be able to paint oh, sure. and, and, and get in there and do that kind yeah. of stuff. So mm -hmm. it's it's really great. Again. Uh, bringing back to uh, the the fact that uh, uh, you have a, yourself and maybe four or five people helping you to put this together, to put the show together, to hang the show, you at no point. I guess what I'm saying is that if you have 200 people, you do uh, 200 paintings. Um, are those? What I'm trying to differentiate here is: Do we have 200 people separately that are that are sort of submitting? one painting or do some people submit more than one? Um, we allow any artist to bring two pieces. 
um, for any given show. Okay. Um, and if they're a Russell Gallery member, then they can hang two in the Russell Gallery and put two in the members. Show. Really? So they can hang. So up they to could even bring four pieces if they wanted to. I mean, there is a hanging fee, so yeah. for some people, they might not want to do that. Well, that's. A, I mean, I would suspect the hanging fee has to help to, to defray some of the expenses. Absolutely, that go through, that's a big building. It's, not, it's a big building, and I'm sure that, that you guys got a lot of lot going on over there. <laughs> yes. Once the show is up, we talked about a little bit about um, a particular painting having balance in a wall with the paintings mm -hmm. on there having balance. I suppose that uh, I suppose that that would play heavily into being able to view each of the pieces a little bit more. Uh, uh, comfortably mm -hmm. because they all work they sort of like all work together whether mm -hmm. or not they're all in harmony or, or you know with, with one particular wall having harmonious colors to it but I would think a little bit of variety might might also play a absolutely into that. Right. absolutely sometimes it's just as simple as even even having the frames feel comfortable together you just it's hard to explain it's it's like when you know that something is right because you're you can look at it, but you can, and a little, t little it, tough to differentiate. It, yeah, why. it is. It could it could be that that your um, that you're just um, there may be a shape that you're re that's repeating. Okay, well, it makes sense. It's throughout, like a painting, throughout of Throughout the pieces that are there, sure. or color, or they might have similar framing, um, even size. It's just, there are a lot of different things to consider, and every time it's a different well, different outcome because all the artwork is different, and, and it's, well, it's let me, very hard to explain. Talk, talking about framing is interesting because we had uh, we had a show a while back where we, we uh, talk with a, a, a local framer and we were talking about why an artist should go out and buy, have have their work professionally mm -hmm. framed. Um, is framing important as far as you're concerned when you, when, when you hang a show? Now what I mean by that is this. I've talked with people that say you need to paint because I have a frame that I've had over here that's <laughs> 16 by 20 and I need to put something in that something frame. In that. Uh, or, do, or should we be basically, if I hear you correctly, we should be just painting and then framing what we paint. Uh, but rather than even going to the yard sales to pick up a old crappy old frame and stick a decent painting on it. I mean, I would think that framing would be somewhat important the, to the presentation overall. Ab absolutely, absolutely, and that, and I mean, I understand the 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 cost issue for a lot of people, um, and there are ways around that. But um, uh, you, these pieces are for sale. Everything is for sale in the gallery, yeah. and you just got to think. Well, somebody that's coming from who knows where and they walk in here and they fall in love with this piece and they they go to pick it up off the wall and something falls apart that you know they might change their mind that's not that's not cool yeah i know You're, I if, if you want to be professional then you have to present your work so you want to put you your really work do. out in its best yeah, light in its best light yeah, absolutely the best that you can yeah and i can understand that it makes good sense so framing is important mm -hmm. and in also good framing literally from my perspective will show the piece off better. Absolutely. Uh, I, I think I've always been of the mindset that when you hang a piece, that the piece should speak. The frame should be supportive of the piece. Yes. But overall, when you look at it, you want to you want to get a good feeling when you mm -hmm. take a look at this the wall of mm -hmm. work that's there in front of you that you're evaluating yeah. and looking at. Which brings me to another point, for sale. Um, we, you, you had mentioned that if it's sold, or, or, or you know, when, when something does come off the wall, if somebody comes from afar and wants to take a look at a piece, and they say, "I like that piece, I'll take it, take it off the wall," mm -hmm. they don't really take it off the wall until the show's over. I would assume. Um, that's only for uh, the photography show and the the fall juried art show. The rest of the time, we're really function like a gallery on you do yeah so if somebody absolutely. wants a piece you just take it off the absolutely wall. and we call the artist Had and no say idea. congratulations you sold a piece bring something else down that's wonderful yeah. to hear yeah. wow for all of those people yeah. out there that want to uh sell work and have an right because sell work because it really we're we're functioning as a gallery in those instances not not as a show i mean we kind of call it the summer show but it's but it's, it's really it's really a gallery for the it's really for a the, gallery the, for the town the, for for, for those the local artists sure and, 
Yeah. Wonderful to hear. Mm -hmm. Not too many galleries in this area that I'm aware of, but maybe uh, maybe I, I kind of come and go and you know they, they sort of move around. Plymouth yeah. is is Plymouth from your perspective a decent place to sell work? We do okay. I mean, we can. I'd love to see more people buying art. I wonder I, what. Yeah. Well, I I just wondered that because I don't want people to get the wrong idea that you know the stuff that turns off mm -hmm. the wall and the, you know every 10 minutes you got something being sold you know you so just forth. it's one of those things you just never know i mean the the last show i think we sold five pieces mm -hmm. from the last show Good. and uh usually the fall show we end up selling Doing a few very pieces well. from that so, well let's talk about let me just go let's bring it back to hanging again do you have guys have a hanging system because i've been used to going into galleries or my own areas and putting nails in the wall is that mm -hmm. how you handle the no, luckily we have we have hanging systems now. You do have a yeah. system. Yeah. So it's the type of system that you have is what comes off the. Uh, is is it a, one of those linear systems? Uh, it's two uh, two different ones. In the in the big gallery we have the the thin, um, well it's see through. Right. Uh, wires mm -hmm. with a little hook at the bottom that slides, up, slides and down up and down so okay, that so you can, they're adjustable and you can ha it hangs. I think they hold up to 100, and 100 pounds or oh, something good. like so that. Hang, and, you know, yeah. so you could hang, hang three pieces off of one of those things. Right. And then the other, the other in the other building, um, it's similar, but it's a rod with more of a wide metal clip that slides up and okay. down. Okay. Hanging systems, then, I mean, I suspect, I know that hanging system is going to be a lot better than continually patching these Oh, my walls. God. That was, yeah, the first the year or so was just. Yeah, I, I imagine it must, <laughs> it must <laughs> That was rough. Must every every time we hung a show, we'd have to patch and paint, and I did it, a lot it of must that. Have yeah. Been, yeah, yeah, it must have been. Um, do you work with pretty much the same volunteers on a regular basis when you're hanging I see a lot of the same, same people, people, but uh, but always new ones. You never know, be, you know, because they're volunteers, they're doing other things. People have lives, so you know we just send out an email the week or two before we hang, and whoever answers comes in comes and hangs. In. And I'm always grateful. So. I bet you are. I would <laughs> think that you can't. It's tough to do that stuff yeah. without any help. I mean, I would think that you'd be just your hands would be tied, not knowing what to go, what to do. It's, I, it's a long day if you're. <laughs> I guess it would be a long day. Yeah, sure, I can understand that. Um, it, so. As a, as a person comes and mills through the galleries, you're talking about the Russell Gallery being on literally one side, I think, is mm -hmm. what I'm, I'm getting. It's, the, the, it's not the, mixed. The big it's brick building is the Russell Gallery, uh -huh. but we also hang Russell Gallery artists in the, that lobby. So when as you're you coming in, in the, the steps by the, by the front desk, that's Russell Gallery. So area as you're walking also. in to the left is what you're talking about. As mm -hmm. you're walking in straight that area, straight ahead where the desk is, and then to mm -hmm. the left. That's the main area. Yes. And then on the right-hand side the right -hand would be basically side. where the members. And I know that there were some awards that were given out for the summer show. That goes across to both shows. Yes. So that's not just for the Russell Gallery. Nope. That's it's through the whole building. So, mm -hmm. so yep. somebody then juried that show. Somebody took a look and said, hey, we're going to give out one, two, three, four awards, whatever it was. And they go through mm -hmm. they the do. entire They do. I think complex. they do first and second place and a, and a few um, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions, yes. Which, well, that's nice to know because mm -hmm. at least it gives somebody an opportunity to sort of, just, uh, you know, hey. Very quite frequently, it's people that are over in the Lindens, you know, in the members' yeah. gallery. So I, I am, you know, it's for me, it's delighted because I'm, I'm, not a, 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 I'm not an advocate of everybody getting an award for just participating. I've always, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, ha it has no, in you have no incentive. Mm. If you, from my perspective, if if it was if it's a complacent area and everybody mm -hmm. gets an award just go to go through the process of entering uh, it, it yeah, reminds me yeah. of my my grandkids when they win you know there are 12 people in the class and I won an award for being 12 it just, <laughs> doesn't, just just doesn't make sense to me it's just entitlement uh, besides it's motivational from my perspective I think mm -hmm. that if you take a look at in some shows are better than others I think you will agree I mm -hmm. mean when you're hanging a show obviously some shows are better than others um, but you try to keep that balance when you guys award for the, something like the summer show, do you take into consideration um, the categories? That is to say, is there awards for there watercolors? Are, no, or there, are no <laughs> there are no categories. They, they, that was just something that they started to do. Um, these, these shows that cover, you know, um, there are probably four or five of them a year, and that's you know separate from the the photography show and the juried show. Those are those are both juried shows. Okay. All the rest of the year is pretty much just these. Everybody participates. Okay. You know, whoever brings in art, brings in art, and it gets hung up. Um, but they wanted to 
especially in the winter time, it can be, we don't get that much art because people are away or in the summertime they're on vacation. So just as a little extra incentive, the gallery committee um, put that together and started giving out ribbons and, and a couple of awards. Uh, and they're well, actually a money a, award. Just to, to you know, it's a nice help touch. the artists kind of feel like they're they're yeah. actually working towards something and sure. you know just a little extra something and to get them to come to the openings and so there is an opening for yeah. there is an opening a reception yeah, they have a reception for they each one that's yeah. wonderful yeah. Good, yeah. good so for you welcome well would be artists that are out there or all you artists that are out there that are, that actually are not participating it may be a good idea for you to get down to the gallery and mm -hmm. uh, uh, to the center and maybe uh, see if you can join the show and become a member because it's a yeah. it's a great venue. There's a lot uh, of things. And you know, we just we have some really wonderful artists that are so <sighs> friendly and helpful and um, always willing to sit down with a new member or a new artist or someone who's struggling that might you know need to talk to somebody about their work and you know have a little crit or whatever. That's nice to and, hear because. Uh, you know, it, it can just be a casual thing, and, and but everyone's really open about that, and uh, so that's a really good, to good know. thing for people who are just kind of getting started and might be a little shy about you know bringing work in. And a lot of people are. No, a lot of no, people are. I mean, I think these are your babies, so yeah, it's, I know. You know, I sometimes understand. it's hard. I understand. That's, that's <laughs> cool to know. Well, look, at, I really appreciate your time today. It went by quickly, and I'm it surprised. Did. It's just a <laughs> casual conversation here to try to sort of get a feel for what it takes to hang a show. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I really uh, I, I can't thank you enough for coming in. This has been sort of fun. We're trying to do these shows that are informative mm -hmm. for the for our viewing audience, and I think this particularly is one. I think we got to deal with, uh, you know, want, at some point in time we want to deal with why. Uh, or what it really takes sometimes to become a member, mm -hmm. um, and that and that that's a, for future discussions and explore some of the other interesting parts uh, aspects of of uh, uh, and introducing our work to mm -hmm. a professional gallery like that. So, Brenda, thanks an awful lot. Really Thank appreciate you, you coming in. It's great to have you. My name is Tony Visco. I'm your host. Um, you can always get me on. Uh, you can always contact me directly through. Uh, uh, let me give you this uh, an email. Tony V at theartdude.com. That's that's <laughs> one. It's uh, and uh, you can uh, you can always uh, get a hold of me through actually the gallery as well because mm -hmm. I'm I'm teaching down there. So if somebody wanted to uh, talk to me, certainly you can call the gallery and get a hold of me at that way or the guild. Um, so uh, with that, I thank you for being uh, with us today, and hopefully you'll be with us in the future. Thanks again. Bye bye.